not perfect, but not too bad. Um, there's also a screwdriver that you probably can't see that's just to the right of where that tube goes down that I dropped in. I'm trying to tighten the clamps right here yesterday. Um, at the bottom of that tube, there's a little plastic deal that looks kind of like that that's cracked and sort of has had pieces breaking off of it for two or three years probably now. And I thought maybe I'd pull that off and try to get it fixed yesterday, but it seems like this whole fitting needs to come out vertically to get the tube out of that hose. And I don't know if I have the right tool because it seems like the ring that's on the bottom side of this needs like a pin spanner to get to. So I may work on that this morning. I'm gonna get the rest of the tank rinsed out here. Um, and then see how things are looking. Um, I'm not sure how much it rained exactly, but I think it rained some more overnight. Dad dumped the gauge and ran to town before I talked to him. But it seems like it's wetter than it was last night. Um, so I think we got a little bit more. I don't know exactly how much. Um, so we'll see exactly what happens with that. Um, there's it's supposed to be pretty windy today, so it might dry off pretty reasonable if uh, the sun shines a little bit. Uh, however, there's some chances of rain, so we'll have to see what happens. My hope is maybe we can do some beans this afternoon and get the farm that's a few miles away planted before the next round of storms comes. Um, but that remains to be seen whether that works out or not. So for the time being, I'm going to keep uh, getting the spray ready to convert over to corn. Um, and kind of see how things go. Well, it's about noon, and the wind is blowing, the sun's shining occasionally. There's still kind of a lot of dark clouds. Um, nothing on the radar within probably at least 150 miles. Uh, however, we went over and checked the farm that's a few miles away, and it's too wet. Uh, might go late today. Um, but it seems like it's drier around here, so I think what we're going to do is, after lunch, go get seed and finish up the last five acres or so on the farm that I didn't have enough seed for a couple days ago, and get that finished up, and then sort of reassess and figure out a game plan from there. Um, I think there's still some small chances for rain, but not huge ones. Um, so right now I'm working on getting the planter stuff ready to go, and... The hood on the tractor is not up because anything is broken. I need to switch the GPS back. All right, we're all set up. Uh, need to adjust the monitor position a little bit. But got cables hooked up down here in the corner that you probably can't see in the video because it's kind of dark in here yet. Um, I sort of had intentions to get another glow before this season um, so that I didn't have to climb all over the tractors at least, even if we switch the, had to switch the display. Uh, but then the coronavirus stuff started and corn prices started plummeting and soybean, pre soybean, soybean prices were kind of similar really. Um, so decided maybe I wasn't going to spend that few hundred dollars to do that right now at least. Um, but would be nice in the future. Uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go other than seed so probably going to take a little bit of a lunch break. Actually, I might go look at a couple things on the sprayer and then take lunch break. Um, but then we'll switch seed wagons around and uh, go after some seed. Um, another project that I sort of put that on last week, uh, I got some used billboards to use to tarp the seed wagons. Um, we have two like this that we can switch the auger on that is kind of a homemade setup that Dad put together. And then a smaller one that came from an auction that it's a little bit more of a commercial auger setup or is a more commercial auger setup um, it has a canvas tarp that's kind of like bolted on um, but it's not in very good shape so I uh, thought maybe this would be a reasonable solution to get a decent tarp inexpensively um, not sure yet when dad cut it he cut it in half which is way too long so we're definitely going to take some off and right now it has plastic conduit in the pipe tubes on the sides which I think is really too flexible to work very well uh, I'm not exactly sure what our long-term game plan is um, but we at least found some things that don't work very well I think so my thought at the moment is to maybe get some medium-sized PVC or some type of uh, tubing that we can sort of roll it around on the top I mean, not as a roll tarp, but just to roll it up rather than having to pull it over the wagon. 
Uh, the other problem on these is that the corners of the uh, extensions are really sharp, so it seemed like it was kind of wanting to poke through the billboard material, and especially it was hard to get the thing pulled up over with the stiff but not solid uh, plastic conduit tubes in the sides. So I think we may try getting something that we can kind of roll it up um, on a once or twice a year type basis. And the one on the other wagon probably we might just do the same way that it's been done in the past and bolt in one side and then just kind of toss the other part over. It's a little bit smaller, so it's not as much trouble to manage as the ones on these. Um, but previously we had some of the cheap blue tarps and they were getting enough holes in them that they were about worthless and uh, thought we'd try this instead. Not sure if it was a good move yet or not, but at least tried something. We are rolling on the last field of soybeans. Uh, I've got about almost nine acres in now. Um, got the other field close to finished up, um, so everything in that neighborhood is about done. And just have this one left. Um, Pretty good farm, really good dirt, um, but it has terraces all over the place. There's probably literally rows that go 40 directions on this 110 acre piece. Uh, I got end rows on two sides, and then I'm working on the, kind of the big terrace through the middle, um, which the farm is half mile wide and less than that tall, if you will. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this first pass is at least three quarters of a mile winding around the terraces. Um, but I'm hoping that I can get some of the terrace stuff done here before it gets dark and then run on the straight sections a little bit later and try to get a decent chunk of this knocked out tonight. Uh, I'm going to have to take off for a few hours tomorrow afternoon for a funeral visitation uh, for a friend of Bernays who lost his battle with cancer. And, uh, I'd like to get finished before I leave, but if not, I think Dad's going to plant for a little bit. Because um, it sounds like it's supposed to rain tomorrow night or Thursday. So, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, let's see, there's a Mylar balloon in the stocks over there. I already picked up one today on this farm, which is down here. It seemed like just a plain white one, so that was kind of lame. Um, but always trying to pick that stuff up because, especially the curling ribbon crap, uh, really wreaks havoc on bearings and stuff. If it gets wrapped around, it's a real pain to get off of there. So, um, not to get up on a soapbox, but if helium balloons were banned, that would be okay with me. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep paying attention to what I'm doing, but if anything interesting happens, as always, I'll try to get the camera turned on. before 9, 8.40 I guess, and uh, we're running under the lights. Um, things are going smoothly. Got about the close to 40 acres in so far. And I'm not sure how late I'm going to try to run. Um, I'm on straight rows at the moment, but I'm about to have to switch. So it's going to depend kind of how things go. I'm guessing that I'm going to be pitch black, so this probably isn't going to really work. Um, we got a nice sunset with some big clouds, but hopefully not much chance of rain. So we'll see how things go and hopefully get finished tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 6th, uh, about 7.30 a.m. And just got to the field here, um, looking things over. Got the tractor windows wiped down, toolboxes back on the shelf for the thing there. Looked over the planter a little bit. Uh, I was hoping to get an early start this morning because I need to take off kind of early today or mid-afternoon anyway. But of course, everything is super soggy. Um, so I think I'm probably going to be sitting for a little bit, trying to let the sunshine get the residue a little bit dried out. Um, the problem is to get the soybeans under the stalks, I need to be able to cut them. And I don't think they're going to cut very well at the moment. It's about 7.45 and we're going to try it and see how it goes. Uh, I just spotted in a couple spots on this terrace. Um, the way that the, mark, or the planter passes came out, I was driving right across the top of it um, when I planted that pass last night. And the problem is with this toolbar being a solid toolbar, the, when you're in a situation like that where you have a lot of uh, grade change, especially down on the ends, um, those outer row units maybe don't get depth control 
Um, so I kind of wanted to make sure that I didn't have any big skips there just for the sake of holding some of that loose dirt that was just put into place last fall. Um, so we're going to try this out uh, in the stocks now. And the question is, A, can we get through it without balling up and pushing in front of the planter? And B, are we going to have acceptable depth control um, that we're getting the seeds, getting the soybeans underneath the residue rather than having the row units right up over the top or bury a bunch of stock chunks underneath the soybeans. So we're probably going to go, well, since I only have about 15 feet before I hit the rye here, we'll probably run 100 yards or so and then get out and check and see how things look. Well, it seems like we're getting through it okay. Um, walking behind the planter here, I don't see any soybeans on top of the dirt, so that's a good sign first off. Um, This is the kind of stuff that we're kind of concerned about where we have a bunch of residue. It does look like it's getting cut, so that's good. There's some that's kind of getting pinched down into the seed trench though, which is less ideal. Let's see if we can find some soybeans. I just knocked one out. So we're underground, but not by a lot. As long as we have dirt on top, we're probably more or less okay. We're really pinching a lot of residue in some of those spots. It's probably not as critical for soybeans as if I were planting corn, but I'm probably not gonna drive real fast for these first two passes. I'm aiming for about an inch deep, and like that spot, we definitely weren't. Chances are where we didn't have residue on the top, we're gonna be pretty close to an inch, I would guess, or maybe even a little more. So that's, that's probably a solid inch, a little more, which is what we're aiming for. Um, I did notice I was picking up a little bit of dirt on the gauge wheel tires, which would also be not ideal because that will cause it to not plant as deep. Um, since the buildup on there essentially will lift the row unit. I can't find the next one in that row. Let's check another one. Um, so they kind of right in here. This seems like kind of a medium amount of residue. So there's some that are not very much on the ground. That may be in a tire track. For me, possibly. Yeah, not getting great penetration there. I may need to check that tire track row. With it being wet, it may be packing a little more than it was earlier. Another one on top, that probably blew out of that row, I would guess. We're not looking for necessarily absolute perfection, but we do need some semblance of what we want. I think as long as the sun keeps shining, it should improve rapidly here. I think there was a row unit that came through here. Let's see any sleeping so. So we may need to adjust that row unit down a little bit. And there's one where we want it. I was not going very fast, so I think it may be just riding up over the residue or has some mud on the tires. Again, we're seeing stalks cut pretty clean, so that's a good sign. I think the leaves may be my bigger problem. Those are pretty tough yet. And probably, I mean, won't have as much structure to be able for the blade to cut it like a stock. If you push down, it won't just go into the dirt and probably the leaves and stuff might be. Well, I think I'm gonna adjust a few row units a little bit um, and go slow. And hopefully the sunshine will help us quickly. It's about 8.15 now, and it seems like things have gotten quite a bit better. Um, we're kind of up in a different spot now, but um, there's still some shucks that are a little bit wet, and we're still getting a few soybeans on top of the dirt, but definitely not picking up mud on the press wheels or not on the gauge wheels anymore. Uh, tractor wheels aren't really either, um, and things seem much crispier. Um, I've not seen anything pushing at all 
Uh, it seems like the big pushing risk maybe is ahead of the closing discs. Because um, I think that if you get some stocks and crap stuck up in there, that kind of um, causes the row unit to either lift up or drags a lot of the dirt off the top of the seed trench. It's a few more on top of the ground than I'd really like to see, but it seems like it's only where we're overlapping stuff that was planted yesterday or planter tracks or spreader tracks and stuff. Let's see what we got here. See, that looks about perfect. Let's check this one. A mm, little deep, but probably okay. We don't have any residue cover right there, so we're going for an average depth. Probably these are going to be a little shallower, I would guess. Still plenty deep. We need to shallow that one up a little. Looks like that one is not getting great penetration. It's also running over a whole bunch of root balls from last year, so that's probably a lot of it. Well, I'm gonna make some more adjustments, but we're planting. We're closing in on 1.30 and everything's going pretty smoothly. Um, monitor says about 100 acres, which uh, I don't have an implement switch on this planter, so uh, it's actually some less than that probably, but um, the end is in sight, I guess we should say. Uh, things back here are going pretty smoothly. Things got dried off. Um, it's been pretty smooth sailing, really. It looks like uh, probably Dad's gonna get to plant a little bit because um, I've got to take off for a funeral visitation. Uh, so probably gonna damper the celebration of finishing planting a little bit. Um, but uh, I think we're gonna have the crop in the ground today, and that's good news. About 2.15 and we're getting our daily rain shower it seems. Hopefully not enough to slow things down much. It doesn't. Actually I've checked radar but it doesn't look very dark in the clouds at least. Um, we have been finding all sorts of treasure though. We got three bricks, a chunk of a wooden post which we don't want to run through the head uh, deer antler that was a shed which I think I grazed with the outside row unit it was laying in the grass on the edge of the field I just saw it when I was turning around on the end rows but it has some mud on the backside that I kind of think I put there rubbing off the row unit as I planted those end rows earlier uh, we got a mud flap um, some various mylar balloon trash uh, some cardboard, I think probably most likely off the bottom of a, or off the top of a pallet with some stuff on top of it. So all kinds of adventure. And there was some plastic that I didn't even stop and pick up. So the joys of farming, but we're making good progress. Uh, I'm kind of down to the last couple patches here and I think we're going to be okay on seat. Slow down to go over these gopher mounds. It is one of the definite disadvantages to no-till is that it seems like especially terraces on the top of a ridge tend to attract burrowing critters and then they're rough. Probably we're going to do a moderate amount of spot tillage on this farm next year before it's corn so we'll maybe hit some of these terraces and try to smooth them out at the same time. Probably barely a speck in the video, but we got dad turned loose finishing up the beans. Um, there's probably, I don't know, half a dozen passes left on this little stretch and then a few short rows up by the road. So hopefully he can get that taken care of. I'm off to other commitments and we'll see what tomorrow brings weather-wise and go from there. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon, but um, may try to do a little spot spraying or something in the morning. We'll see what happens. 